Hi everybody, this is Glenn Gerhauser from Church on the Park and Holy Fire Ministry Training School. And today I want to talk to you about the joy of journaling. And this has been on my heart for a couple months now. And especially in light of the coronavirus and we're at home and we have to work from home and we're not meant to go out much except for essential things. This is a wonderful time to work on our personal relationship with God. And journaling is one of the ways that we can strengthen our personal relationship with God. Now, have you ever found it in prayer that your mind has wandered, you've been distracted, you haven't been able to focus? Well, journaling is a way that you can focus uh, because you can write down your prayers. You can write down scriptures. Um, when you're just praying in your mind, it's easy to get off course, but journaling helps you to get your thoughts and emotions out and make them concrete. And it helps you, it helps you to pray. Now, I want to show you something that is a treasure of mine, something I really treasure. And this is my own personal copy of Psalm 119. And from the front of it is the English. And so Psalm 119 is an acrostic psalm. And in the Hebrew, every verse in a poem starts with the same letter. Uh, so this is my English, but on the, uh, on the back is the, is the Hebrew. And if you can, you can see here, uh, the beautiful thing is, is here's a Dalit. Again, this is Hebrew poetry. Every line of the Hebrew poetry begins with Dalit, 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 and it all begins with Dalit. The psalmist is bringing out the beauty of God's word, and this is his own journal. And I want to read to you from the Hebrew here, starting with Dalit. This is Psalm 119, verse 25. And it's going to teach us about journaling. So let me start here. Davka la'afar nafshi. What does this mean? What does this mean? Davka clings la'afar to the dust. Nafshi, my soul. So we would translate this as my soul clings to the dust. What is the psalmist doing here? He's being real and raw about his emotions. He feels down in the dumps and he's saying it. He's not hiding it. He's not, oh, let me try to psych myself up. But my soul is down in the dumps. And I think that's how many of us feel right now. Our souls are down in the dust. Uh, you may have lost your job. You may have taken a cut back in your salary. You may be missing hugging people. I know I'm missing seeing people and spending time with them. Uh, he says here, my soul clings to the dust. And I, I want to encourage you when you have your own journal, be real, be raw, be honest. Now, what's this next line of this verse? And this is what he's looking to for his hope. He says, Chayeni kid varecha. Chayeni, revive me. Chayeni, revive me. Kid varecha, according to your word or by your word. So he's looking to the word of God for revival. He's looking to the promises of God's word, as well as the power of God's word to revive him, to give him life, to, to raise him up, to resurrect him from the dust that he's in. Now, the last thing I want to cover with you is the second verse of Dalit. This is Psalm 119, verse 26. And it reads, Darakai Siparti vata aneni. Darachai is my ways or my journey. Siparti is I've recorded. So he's saying, I've recorded my journey. I've written it down. Siparti. And then he goes, vata aneni. And you've responded. So my journey I've written down and you've responded. You've seen, 
you've acted, you responded, you replied. Here, the psalmist is putting into practice journaling. And that's what Psalm 119 is. It's his, it's his own personal journey and journal of the word of God. The next verse says, Lamdeni chukecha. Lamdeni teach me. And, and chukecha is your statutes. Your statutes. So the next thing he says is, teach me your statutes. Or teach me your written portions. Because the word of God can be broken up into portions. And his heart here is, yeah, I've written down my journey, but also, Lord, would you teach me your ways? Would you teach me your statutes? Would you teach me the portions of your scripture? So Psalm 119 is a great inspiration for us to journal, to keep a personal journal. And uh, so in this time, I want to encourage you, keep a personal journal. I hope to do another video about tips, 12 tips to keep a personal journey, uh, journal. But right now, God bless you. If you've enjoyed this video, um, please send me a message and let me pray for you. Father, I pray for each one that you'd help them to keep a personal journal and that as they write, that you would respond to them and speak to them. And they would hear your voice in Jesus name. Amen.